Hello Year 7, welcome back to another video, a lesson 5 today on Group 7, the non-metals, okay? Um, you need a pen, a paper, if you print off a new knowledge sheet and a slot, that's fantastic. Otherwise, a piece of paper is absolutely fine. So, let's get straight into it, into our retrieval. So first slide, a bit of microscope, pause the video, off you go. So, how to get on, guys? Check your answers. It's a bit of a tough one, actually, that one. So if you need to make a reading card, you can do. Next slide, okay, is on forces. So, pause the video. What can you remember? Off you go. So, how to get on, guys? Check your answers now. Again, pause the video if you need to, to revise. And the final retrieval today is on group one, last lesson. So, pause the video now. Off you go. So, how to get on, guys? Okay, last lesson, did a lot of work, lots of information, hopefully, really well on that. If you need to make a vision card, do so now. Otherwise, let's get stuck into going through the slot from last lesson. So, last lesson, I gave you three questions. Question one was this one here. So, the answers are read for you, mark them for me. You don't know question two, which is like this. So again, check your answers for me. How do you get them? I mean, your electrons don't need to look like mine, as long as you've got them the same number. That's absolutely fine. And the final question, question three, is this one here, the big one. This was a nice question. Again, check your answers now. How do you get on? So let's get stuck into today's lesson. So today we're looking at the group seven um, non-metals. And here's two of them. You've got fluorine and chlorine. And the reason they're in group seven as we can see, is because on the outside shell, they both have a seven electron. That means they're in group seven. And you've probably heard of chlorine before, okay, because it's in swimming pools and it's really useful, but they've got a special name, these group seven non-metals, okay? And we actually call them the halogens. H-A-L-O-G-E-N, halogens. Now that actually means salt makers. So they make salts. But again, that's what you need to know halogens. And the first four, okay, or group seven, you need to know a lot about are fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. So those are the first four group seven non-metals that we need to know about and they're the ones we're going to concentrate on today so let's go through each one talk about what they're all about so first of all we're talking about fluorine so fluorine now its properties is it is a colorless gas okay so it is a gas you can't see it okay it is very toxic horrible stuff disgusting actually and it is the most reactive of the four. And it also has the lowest boiling point. So fluorine is right at the top. It's a colorless gas. It's the most reactive and also has the lowest boiling point. Next one down is chlorine. Now you have heard of this one. Now, on its own, it is actually a green gas. And actually, being a green gas, okay, means it is very, very toxic, horrible stuff. Actually, in swimming pools, if you breathe in, if you breathe in the gas, the pure gas is just really, really toxic. But in swimming pools, it's brilliant, it's disinfecting. It's reactive, actually, as we go down the group, they get less and less reactive. So the one at the bottom is the least reactive. And as you go down the group, the boiling point increases. So actually, the bottom, you've got the highest boiling point. Okay, so there's a trend there, two trends you need to know about. We've then got bromine. And this time, we've actually got a brown liquid. So we've now gone into a liquid. And the final one we need to know about is iodine. That is a grey solid, 
but it actually can sublimate to make a lovely purple gas. Now, if you want to look at these in the video, I would do so. There's some brilliant videos out there on Group 7, but that is what we need to know. So the trends then, what do we need to know under trends and properties? Two things. As you go down the group, they get less reactive. So it's the opposite to what happened in group one. So as you go down a group, they get less reactive. We'll explain that in a minute. But also, as you go down the group, the boiling point increases. So those are the two trends you need to know about, okay? So the last little bit, we need to explain the reactivity. So it's very similar to what you've done last time. Let's do them together. So it says, explain why they get less reactive to go down the group. So like before, all atoms want to have a full out of shell. So we're going to say, group seven elements, therefore they need one electron to fill the outer shell. That is why they okay, they're reactive. They want to get the outer shell. However, as they get down, they get bigger. So down the group, the outer shell is further from the nucleus. So again, this is something Okay, now so far, nothing new. Need an electron, the further you are away, okay, the bigger they are, so the further in the group you go, the bigger they are. Therefore, because it's further from the nucleus, it's harder to get the electron. And that is the key bit there. So I'll go through it again. Group two elements need one electron. Down the group, that outside shell is further from the nucleus. This means it's harder to get the electron, therefore it's less reactive. It find it harder to react, okay? So at this point here, I'm going to tell you, pause the video for me. Have five, ten minutes, just covering the art we've done so far, learning this new knowledge. Make sure you're embedding it. So pause the video now if you need to. And we now need to look at the slot. Okay, for today's lesson. So we've done a new knowledge. So the slop, okay. You've got the sheet either printed out or if you haven't, I'll go through them now for you. So the first question is this one here. So draw me the atoms from the, we draw two can draw. Uh, and again, recall, what have we just done? Recall it for me on this, on this piece of paper. When you've done that, okay, I've got the exam question here for you. So again, Go through the answers, okay? Um, and just make sure we've done them all. And there's one more question to finish on, just here for you. Again, you can print this off and work from this PowerPoint, answering the questions as you go. Next lesson, we'll go through the answers to those questions, make sure hey, hey got some. Otherwise, we're gonna look at group zero next time. So again, the last lesson really on new knowledge. Until then, do some retrieval. Your reasonable test will be out on Friday. Um, complete the slot to the best of your ability and share the video with other people, okay? So if you need any help to email your teachers, otherwise, keep safe, keep well, and I will see you soon. All the best.